Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios for November 8th through the 10th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a general forecast. So definitely keep in mind everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. I wouldn't take everything super, super, super uh, personal, especially if you know certain things don't resonate to you. Um, I would definitely get a personal reading. Now, if you are someone who's interested in getting a personal session with me, all that information will be listed below in the description box as well as the comment section. I'm only accepting video session uh, bookings. So understand that it is going to take 24 to 48 hours to receive your reading if you do book a session with me. Okay, so what's going on with my Scorpios for November 8th through the 10th? Scorpios for November 8th through the 10th, please. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So first thing I'm going to cover is the overall energy and what we have representing that I do have the angel of love and the will of fortune. So with this, I am seeing that for the next couple of days, Scorpios, you are going to be in a space of really trying to get an understanding of what exactly is going on with the love situation. Um, for a lot of you, the circumstances of the relationship may have gradually kind of shifted. Okay. Whether that's shifted in a good direction or or a bad direction is really going to be up to who you are as a Scorpio. But there's some changes that are happening. Um, and for a lot of you, this is beyond love with what I'm saying with this part. Um, but with these changes that are happening, this is you having to figure out what's in alignment with, like, you know, who you are today and what you care about versus what no longer is in alignment with what you care about, if that makes sense. Um Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Pentacles. Again, I feel like there also may be some turnarounds happening within your love situation. This could be you guys putting the work in. Um, or for a lot of you, you're waiting for some turnarounds to happen in your love life so you can put work into the relationship. But right now, you could be just focusing on money matters and yourself and getting introspection. Um, also, for some of you, you also want to do things that are in alignment with your uh, you're happy or what, how do I say this? You may want to work in a field that's more in alignment with what your interests are. So if you're a musician, you may want to work as a artist or an engineer, things of that sort. It's like doing things in alignment with what you actually care about, not doing things just to do it. But moving beyond that, what I do see for love specifically, I do have the angel of strength and the knight of cups. So um, some of my Scorpios, you could be dealing with the Leo. Doesn't have to be, but I am getting a sense that you guys are really trying to remain strong and confident when it comes to a connection you have with someone. I feel like you have someone who's very fond of you emotionally. This person may express that a lot to you or make it known. Um, also clarifying this Knight of Cups, I do have the Page of Wands and the High Priestess. So again, I feel like you are going to be communicating back and forth with this person. This may be a younger fire sign here. Um, or just someone who, again, you're communicating back and forth with. And you may be in a space of just trying to use your discernment with this person. This also may be a Pisces. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding your finances and career, I do have the door to personal healing and happiness and the page of pentacles. So for a lot of you, you could be realizing that, look, the way, the way to you feeling a lot better about what's going on in your life is you making more money. For some of you, it's like you're realizing that, okay, I can't do as much as I want to do because the fact that I, I need more money or, um, you could be having to save up your money and the only way for you to do that is to get more money. So with the page of pentacles, you could be trying to find that opportunity that's going to put you in a position to manifest whatever creative 
ideas you have into the physical because you could be feeling like your ideas aren't getting out and you're getting kind of frustrated. Okay, but you do need to make sure you're taking your time. Also, there may be people at your job trying to tempt you into like arguments and stuff like that. So be careful of that. I would definitely keep things on a very like short and simple basis with them. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you, Scorpios, I do have the indecision card clarified by the five of swords. And with this, this is you guys not waiting any longer to make up your mind about certain circumstances that you can't take anymore. Um, this is also, what is this? Taking in consideration of which way you're going to move with the situation where you feel like there's mind games being played or where there's just constant arguments or you can't, you know, get your, your point across without somebody, you know, catching the attitude with you, things of that sort. Hold on. Uh, clarifying it yeah the will of fortune so for some of you there's definitely a decision that needs to be made about whether or not you want to work out things with somebody who may have been a little manipulative in the past or doing things to kind of like sorry guys um to to come on top <laughs> sorry i had to yawn okay look anyways <laughs> What I am seeing for the last set of cards, though, in the spread, I do have the obstacle card and or obstacle. And this is clarified by the rest and rejuvenation card, as well as the ace of pentacles. So obviously I yawned for you guys. <laughs> this reading made me yawn. But um, with the rest and rejuvenation, the issue may be you guys having a, a chance to really take a break here. Um, again, with the ace of pentacles, this could be a new job some of you are getting and this may throw your schedule off. For others of you, your job may be working you out more. Um, and you may be, you know, having some issues with getting some sleep. For others of you, it doesn't have to be because of a job. You could just be having issues getting to sleep. You could have insomnia. Um, you could be worrying about money matters. And that could be putting you in a space of not being able to rest. Um, what else? Some of you, also the issue may be you thinking about Again, what new opportunity is going to be best for you financially or in love? Or if you should solidify a relationship, especially if you have been talking to someone. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding love specifically, I do have chemistry and I also have deception. OK, so for some of you, I feel like there is a connection between you and another person where there's genuinely that chemistry going um, for a lot of you. Could feel like you and this person have like sparks flying every time you guys are intimate with each other or whenever you guys are close to each other. And this could be putting you in a space of like being kind of blown back by it. Um, there's just certain things. Either you feel like this person's being not truthful or this person actually isn't being truthful or someone in this connection isn't being truthful here. Because I'm definitely seeing deception. Um, now, this doesn't have to mean that there is deception. For some of you, this is more of you thinking that there's deception. And you could have some trust issues where you've gone through deception in the past. Uh, and this could be affecting your feelings for this person. For others of you, this person could have cheated on you. And you could be in a space of trying to figure out whether or not you can forgive them especially if they're married or in a whole nother relationship type of situation. And you could be needing guidance from like some close friends or something. For others of you, this is you where you may be, you know, kind of being deceptive and whatever. And you may be needing guidance again. Take this, read it how it applies. Okay. Um, but yeah, what I can give you for the advice though, it says time and it says you're trying too hard. Give it time. So you guys do need to really sit back and allow things to unfold. Uh, I don't think the full story is out, out for you to really grasp. So take a step back, allow the universe to kind of, you know, show you what needs to be revealed and then you'll be able to make your movements after that. Okay. So, oh, and also happy birthday to my Scorpios out there. I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. 
hopefully you made this point in the video but um thank you so much scorpios i will see you in the next one i hope you enjoy it again make sure you like comment and subscribe if you do want a um video session with me that information will be listed below and i will see you in the next one bye scorpios